name is John Walsh with the Logic Group, and I'm going to do a jumbo tracer example. I've got a jumbo tracer set up here with two boards. It's set up for five feet by eight feet, and I'm going to digitize a door here. So I have a door. It's a template of a door. I've laid it out on, on the jumbo tracer. Looks like it's about three feet by eight feet. It's got two knobs for the door handles and the lock. It's got a mailbox, and it's got a, a template for a window frame. And I want to digitize this and get this into the computer. First thing that I notice is uh, some of the parts are in the dead zone of the digitizer. Remember on the jumbo tracer, I can digitize on the boards, I can digitize across the boards, but there's an area here of about eight inches that I cannot digitize it. But that's okay because in my software, I can digitize everything and then move the template and then digitize the stuff that was on oh, um, in, the, in that dead zone, that little area there. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you could do that very easily with our digitizer. Jumbo Tracer be able to digitize the, the entire outline. The, uh, the first thing that I've, that I've done is I've marked two calibration points on the template. I've marked a little X there on the template and I've marked a little X there. And that's what I'm going to use to be able to move things around and to add to the, uh, to the template. So the first thing I do is I start up our Jumbo Trace software. I've already got it all um, calibrated and everything. I come in here and I click this button that says four points. It tells me to go ahead and, and make those two X's on the, on the template. So I just come in here and uh, with the pen stylus, I digitize that reference point. So I've got that reference point right there. And then I come over to the other board and I do that other reference point. I'm gonna reach over here instead of walking over, Susan. Click that point there, and now it's all set up and ready to digitize. Then I come in here to digitize, and I do everything that's not inside that centerpiece there. So I'm going to do lines and arcs to do my digitizing. I click start. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outside of the door. Click that point there. This digitizing point's at the bottom. I'm going to click that point there. And then I'm going to digitize this point here, and then I have to go back. I'm going to walk back around this way, digitize this point over here, digitize that point there, and then I click Done on the software, and it connects everything together. So I click Done, and I connect the starting point, yes. So now I've got my, my outside of my door frame there. Now I'm going to digitize that window pane at the top. So I come in here to start, and I digitize the window pane at the top. Click that point there, click that point there. Now I come over here, and I digitize this point here. And I digitize that point there. And I come over to the software, and I click Done. Connect to the starting point, and I say yes. And so now I've got the window pane done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. So I come in here to the top, and I hit File. And then I hit Save As. And I'm going to call this the door. I'm actually going to call it Door Example EX. And then click OK. OK. Then what I'm going to do now, I still have those two handles in the mailbox. I'm going to move everything, I'm going to move my template about a foot that way so I can digitize this stuff in the middle. And the software is going to know where everything is and it's going to put everything in the right spot automatically. I don't have to do anything. Now I've used a little ticky tap to, uh, it's going to unroll on me here, but that's okay. And now I'm going to do the, I use ticky tap and do this side. And move it down about a foot. See what those things are. I'm going to move my tiki tab here. So I got that side moved and down. And then roll it. And put it over here. Now the key thing here, I want to make sure that those, those uh, two points are still on the active area of the board. Okay, so there's that one, it's still in the active area, and that one over there is in the active area. So it's all ready to go. So it's all ready to go. Sorry about that. 
and now I can digitize this and add it into the template and the software automatically put it in the right place. So I don't have to do anything but digitize. So I come back into the software and I have to reload that file. So I'm going to clear the screen. So click clear screen. Do you want to clear it? Yes. Okay, okay. And then I want to come in here to file, open the file, and I'm going to open that file door example. And then I've got to click this little button here that says load with alignment. So I'm going to click out load with alignment, click OK. And now it tells me to digitize that first point. I seem to have lost my pen. Here's my pen by the computer. <clears throat> And I come over here and I go to that first alignment point that I had marked on the template. I click it and then I come over here and I click that second alignment point. And now it knows exactly how everything is lined up. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to come in here and hit digitize. Let's do the mailbox first. I'm going to do lines and arcs for that mailbox. I'm going to click start. Then I come in here, I reach way over here, look at that point there, that point there, that point there, and that point there. And then I'm going to click done, connect starting point, yes, and there it is in the, in the correct spot. Um, now I'm going to do those two door handles. Door handles we do with circles. I click start. And to do a circle, I do any three points on the circle. So that point, that point, that point. 